Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at papapodcasts at gmail.com. Other Papa Podcast titles include Chemistry Podcasts, Math Podcasts, which look at quadratic functions, polynomials, trigonometry, linear mathematics, and physics podcasts. Thank you for watching. Five regions of high electron density will constitute for the shape of trigonal bipyramidal. So here's an example. We have four examples. PF5, phosphorus being our central atom, and we have five uh, fluoride atoms uh, surrounding it. And what we have here, be really careful, uh, we have 120 degrees for this bottom angle. So, so we're, we're looking at it in terms of a, a stick figure, almost, and the legs, the inner part of the legs at 120 degrees, but let's say between the body part and the arms, so to speak, of this, if we were to turn this over, will be 90 degrees. So what we have here, if we look at what we've drawn, we have one, two, three, four, five regions. So we have five bonded and zero unshared pairs, which will give us our trigonal bipyramidal. So all these shapes are for the, uh, the, 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 the specific region without any unshared pairs. The minute we add a, uh, uh, an unshared pair, this number is going to drop. And we're going to see that with our next example. That's really what the pattern you should be looking for with, all, with each individual region. So let's look at another one here. We have S, F4. If we draw that, we have S as our, our uh, central atom. We have one, two, three, four regions. Notice we've dropped one region, but we have this unshared pair. So we have four bonded pairs, one unshared pair, but it's going to give us a total still of five regions. But now, because of this unshared pair, it is no longer trigonal bipyramidal, but it's considered a seesaw. And if we look at the seesaw, what I've done is I've rotated my image, and here's pretty much the, uh, the seesaw, the legs of the seesaw, it's seesawing back and standing pretty much in the middle of that seesaw are your unshared pairs of electrons. So notice we start off with our original shape. The, ch the shapes change depending on the number of unshared pairs. And you have no choice but to have to memorize them. I'm sorry there aren't any uh, shortcuts, uh, but hopefully maybe one of you guys will come up with one and you can send it to me, please. <laughs> We're continuing with five regions of high electron density, and we're still looking at trigonal bipyramidal, but we're looking at our next example, ICL3. Notice now, one central atom, three surrounding atoms. Here's our shape, our central atom, three surrounding atoms, and look at this, we have two unshared pairs. So we have one, two, three bonded, two unshared pairs, still a total of five regions, but now the shape that we have here is known as a T-shaped. And our last example, iodine I3 with a negative one charge. What we have is all three iodines bonded to one another, but one of the iodines is going to represent the, um, the central atom, which means we have one, two bonded pairs, but look closely, one, two, three unshared pairs. Still a total of five regions. But here we're looking at a linear shape. Notice again, as we said, we still have five regions in all our examples for the five regions. The difference that will differentiate itself from the trigonal bipyramidal is, as I've said before, the unshared pair of electrons. Lastly, the six regions of high electron density. This is what we call the octahedral shape. So, a few examples. 
IF6, positive one charge. Here's the, the, uh, the shape. Iodine being it's the central atom, and each fluoride is at a 90 degree angle apart from one another. And that's pretty much the shape. If we look at it, we have one, two, three, four, five, six bonded and zero uns unshared pairs, which gives us pretty much the octahedral shape. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add an unshared pair for our next example, IF5. We have one iodine in the central. We have five bonded pairs of electrons and one lonely unshared pair. So five bonded, one unshared pair, give us a total still of six regions, but it's no longer octahedral, but it is the stable for, uh, for, um, shape for it, but it's considered square pyramidal. In our last example, ICL3, sorry, ICL4, you can see right on this, we can see it, ICL4 negative one, Here's the arrangement. Iodine being our central atom, we have one, two, three, four bonded pairs, and we have one, two unshared pairs. So four bonded, two unshared pairs, still giving us a total of six regions. But now, our shape that we have to memorize and remember is that it's considered square planar. So as I said before, what's really important is to be able to draw your electron dot configuration of each molecule. Find your central atom, find how many regions there are. So we're looking at bonded pairs and unshared electron pairs. And then you must memorize the numbers.